<laughs> we're both drunk in public at the end of the daytime, so. And notice how we're holding hands now. You want to basically just build this bubble. I'm treating it, her like she's an old friend, like she's a pre-existing fuck buddy. That's a good start. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm gonna go through an infield footage breakdown of a day game pull. Okay, this is me walking up to a stranger. This is in New York City. And you're gonna see from the moment I walk up and say hello, all the way to taking the girl back home, unedited, uncut. A okay, huge value bomb on YouTube to show a full day game pull from start to finish. Okay, I wanna remind you guys, we're selecting eight guys for a case study challenge. We've already selected five out of the eight. We're looking for three more guys to go through my eight-week program. You'll get the old pricing prior to the price rise on June 1st. You'll get extra attention from me personally, and you will have the potential to win. One of the eight guys will win a free boot camp valued at almost $7,000, okay? So all you have to do is go to the link in the description. You can read on that page what the case study challenge entails, and you can also listen to the audio message where I explain it in more detail, okay? So go listen to that. We're looking for three more guys and you're gonna serve as an example to show your journey from start to finish exactly what's possible and the kind of results that can be produced in my week program. Okay, we already have hundreds of testimonials on the proof page link in the description that you can go check out. Okay, if you're skeptical of this can work for you. It's very rare, I don't get a guy <clears throat> very good, very fast. And don't worry, we can keep you anonymous. If you prefer to stay anonymous, a bunch of guys are emailing me asking if they serve as a case study, that they have to show their identity? No, you do not. Okay. Also, we're putting out tons of content on TikTok. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. The link in the description for that as well. Okay. We have multiple videos that have cracked over a million views, which is pretty cool. All right. So here we go. John Anthony Lifestyle, day game infield pull. Hi. Can I meet you? Really? Oh, sorry. sorry it's okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right. So I said, hey, I wanted to meet you really quick. She was startled. I calibrate to that. I start laughing. Shake your hand, hey, I just wanted to meet you. It's like how fucking bright your eyes are, I just want to say hi. I liked how bright your eyes are. She had like bright blue eyes, so I just want to say hi. <laughs> why, did you, why did you get so scared? No, scary? I'm just, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I need to go. You're like hiding from the police, you're like... <laughs> okay, well I actually did just jump a turnstile. All right, so she's like <laughs> already like taken aback that I approached her, said she's figuring out where she needs to go. And then I said, oh, you're hiding from the police, ha ha. Okay, and she said, oh, I did just jump a turnstile. Okay, in the, in the New York City subway station, they have turnstiles. She didn't have the fare, apparently, and jumped. So I'm kind of- Is that why you're on edge? A little bit. I could tell you were like super on edge. That's fucking to... awesome, 10 points. I, okay, it wasn't my fault. The thing wasn't working. Like the machine, I wanted to pay. I have all the money, I can pay for it. <laughs> She's saying the thing didn't work. She wanted to pay, but she just jumped it because the machine wasn't working. But it was wait, wait, what the fuck was Wait, you made the conscious do? decision to like literally jump it? Well, Did you get a running start? I'm a little bit drunk. I am too. <laughs> and she's like, I'm a little bit drunk. And I'm like, I am too. I used to drink when I would do day game as well. Okay. Oh my God, okay, wait, let me tell you something. <laughs> Hold on. All right, implementing physicality. We're 38 seconds in. Now I'm pulling her in, building a bond. We've both been day drinking. I have drank like six drinks so far. Okay. I was just at like a social gathering. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna be like really good friends. Okay. I'm All right, now I'm setting frames, okay? We're gonna be really good friends. I already had six drinks, so I was just at a social gathering. This is leading into the frame that I'm gonna want her to go continue drinking with. Two. All right, we're gonna be like really good friends now. So basically- What's your name? John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, so you and I like are both Intoxicated. We're probably the only people that are like on like yeah. intoxicated right now. I'm sure. And I just moved here from California yesterday. No way. I'm. Wait. Hold on. Where do you live in California? San Diego. I'm from Palo Alto. Oh no shit. I'm literally. I, I go to That's NYU like right Google now. Google Land. This girl says she's from uh, Palo Alto, okay, in California, and she goes to NYU. Yeah, I go to Start NYU, up. but I'm graduating. Right now, today, like oh, today, like, like not today, but like basically today. Congratulations! Um, thanks. And I'm going back <laughs> home where my parents live, which is in California. It's so crazy. We're so excited. You're leaving town today? Yeah. Well, I'm leaving May, whatever, later in the May. But yeah, that's my life. All right. So finding out logistical information, she says that she just graduated. She's moving back to California, and now I'm trying to make some shit happen. You, okay. Wait. Why did you drink? Are you celebrating graduating? Um, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a I, shame I love it. 
I tell her she's a shade ball. I love it because she can't say why she was drinking. I can't. You're like, I jumped the fucking turnstile. Okay, do you think I'm gonna, shady as am fuck. I, is this it? Like, am I going to jail? I'm having no, a little bit of a nervous breakdown. Can I like propose something like totally fucking crazy? Okay. Now, here's where I set down frames. We're not even two minutes in. Can I propose something totally crazy right now? Okay, and then they say yes. This comes from the book Persuasion. Okay, in Persuasion, which is the follow-up book to Influence by Robert uh, Caldini, he basically says that if you prime them with a yes in advance, the odds of them complying are way higher afterwards. Okay, so when I say here, here's I got, I want to propose something to you. Are you ready? She's like, yeah. Now she's more open to complying. Okay, I'm saying this whole frame like, okay, it's just us two against the world kind of thing. Notice nothing cheesy, nothing fancy, nothing gamey has been done yet and, and never will in my game. That's, that's gonna make your game work very, very, very badly. Which is? Can I kiss you right now in public? Uh, no, no, hold on. Not. We're both. I say, can I kiss you right now in public? She says, absolutely not. Hold on, hear me out. I'm intoxicated, but not that intoxicated. <laughs> You're intoxicated. You're like, I need more beer goggles. You know, those feels like <laughs> shit. <laughs> Making a joke since she's not ready to kiss me yet, that she needs to drink more so that she has beer goggles and is ready to kiss me. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking on. Are you down to get, I'm about to go, um, there's a TJ Fries there. I'm like about to go like have one more drink. Do you want to come with okay, me? Okay, one drink. Okay. All right, so then I propose that we go, there, this is in Union Square in New York City. I propose we go to TGI Fridays, which is nearby. Okay, now this is an instant date. Technically, that's the official term. The goal is to have one drink and try to pull her home. So we'll go through how this works. Two minutes in, pulling her to a bar. See somebody. All right, deal. Okay. She says she can only come for one drink because she's supposed to meet someone. Additional logistical information. That means I need to make the instant date quick so that I can pull her. Home. What was your name? I don't know your name. We literally just had this conversation. I know, but I forgot. Your name's John? Yes. You, I made that up. It is, John? it is. Okay, you I didn't make that up. I thought John Smith. Yeah. Oh. I know, okay. John. Well, it is, actually. What's my name? Uh, I don't know. Tell me again. I mean, I've never liked that. When I was doing that, I can just, like, do no name. It's right there. Like, yeah, fuck okay. it. You know? Okay. We're not having sex, so. No. <laughs> We're not. Wait, what's your ethnicity? Literally just been drinking. What's your ethnicity? Um, I'm Russian. All right, I'm asking her ethnicity, just random chit-chat. Oh, no shit. Yeah. I'm like part Polish. I'm half Polish. Are we twins? Is that? Like, are we into that? Ew. I hope not. She's like, are we twins? Because I said I'm half Polish and she's Russian. And then I said, we're going to make retarded children. Okay, just saying whatever comes to mind, just joking, stuff that I think is funny. A lot of guys have noticed when they hang out with me, I'm just making jokes that I think are funny. I don't care if they think that they're funny, but they usually think it's funny too. Don't have that. <laughs> No, where are you? Where do you live? Do you live in Manhattan or where? I do. I live in Manhattan. Well, here, it's like very close to me. Oh, nice. But I have to go to. Uh, yeah. I didn't know it's a lift. Should go. Oh, it's straight through there. You see the subway sign? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. Cool. I love how everyone's oh, European here. Yeah. You're like my little sidekick right now. <laughs> you are really tall. I am. Why the fuck are you so tall? I don't know. <laughs> Ask God. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just fucking around. Why the fuck are you so tall? I said, I don't know. Ask God. <laughs> I told her she's my little sidekick because we're walking. I think I don't believe in God. Wait, but <laughs> this is like the best <laughs> experience ever. You just almost got fucking decked in the vase with an umbrella. You jumped the turnstile. Okay, tell me what it looks like to jump a turnstile. Um, you literally lift yourself. I mean, I could have probably gone under it, but I wasn't but, comprehending okay, what was going right here. on. I was in Can Brooklyn. Hands? Oh my god, we're oh holding hands. Are we getting married now? Is this I hope so. Every All right, so we're crossing the street, um, taking the opportunity to do more physicality. Hey, can we hold hands? She says, are we getting married now? And I said, I hope so. Okay, again, just joking around. This is far, far, far. World's different than like Johnny Burba being like, let's get married. Marry me, baby. Like on the opener and stuff like that. Okay, worlds apart. This is just like casual joking, not said as a cheese line. And she actually said it. She's like, oh, are we getting married? And I said, yeah. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> we're both drunk in public at the end of the daytime, so. And notice how we're holding hands now. You want to basically just build this bubble. I'm treating it, her like she's an old friend, like she's a pre-existing fuck buddy. That's a good start. If you're going to kill me, I don't trust you. I like how you, I had, I actually changed out of ripped jeans because I thought it looked inappropriate. So she puts up the objection, I hope you're not going to kill me. Or this is like the standard safety objection, or what if you're a serial killer, blah, blah, blah. And I just brushed past it. Oh, I was going to wear different kind of jeans, blah, blah, blah. You know, I didn't even address it. And then here. 
It's an example of cutting the thread and changing the top. My like partner in crime. <laughs> if you did wear boots, then you would literally have been incest. <laughs> oh my god. I love you so much. Yeah. How old are you? Like 22? This is also different too. This isn't a cheesy thing like, I love you, I love you, as you see me make fun of in these guys' different videos. This is just, we're building a bond. I'm amplifying that bond. Oh, I love you so much. Because she's talking about if we had worn the same jeans, that would have been incest. Sure. <laughs> Wait, tell me the name. I'll remember this time. Yeah. I did it like four years ago. Wow. Never dated John. Never? Yeah. Uh, it was always like Daniel, James, like stupid. So she's telling, she told me her name. I said, I dated a girl with that name four years ago. She's like, I never dated a John. I'm like, not yet. Okay, again, more just flirtation happening. Yeah? Oh How far are you live from here? Uh, um, like two stops away. Oh, uh, something like that. What's your, your... My point to my whole entire... And I'm figuring out her logistics of where she lives. She said she lives two subway stops away. Okay, I was staying... Uh, at the other coach's house, this was during a weekend where I was running a boot camp in New York City. And so I'm just basically planning on where I'm going to pull her after. Don't worry. Yeah? Why don't you the fucking Here. I want to see, like, here you go. You <laughs> <laughs> Here, come through here. Okay, now we're in a TGI Fridays. The goal here is just to flirt a bit more, have one drink, and then pull her home. Okay. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, please. Oh, so he's been here before. <laughs> I stopped in for a drink earlier. Um, can I have a uh, water cranberry, please? She just graduated today. We're celebrating. She also jumped a turnstile. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just fucking around. I'm talking to the bartender. Oh, she just graduated. We're celebrating, and she just jumped a turnstile. Okay, again, just teasing, referencing parts of the conversation, and everyone's joining in on the left. <laughs> nice. I did that once. I got a ticket for it. <laughs> The bartender's like, I did that once, I got a ticket. See, that, wait, Don't tell her that, she's gonna freak out. I got a ticket for it. Wait, did they take your picture or did it happen right then? It happened, you got to get like right when it happened? They found it later? Oh. It happened right then? Yeah, it happened right there. Okay. No, you're good. So she already got away. Oh, you got away then. That's all right. <laughs> right? I'm like, I'm good. She's on the run right now. Yeah. Again, just fucking around, having fun, okay? And this is way different than like enjoying the process or like just self-amusement, okay? I'm just teasing the girl instead of being like, so uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I'm making a joke about the fact that she's like a fugitive on the run for jumping a turnstile, okay? And the bartender's giving her input on, oh, I think you're safe if they didn't catch you already. What am I not gonna <laughs> fucking have in my own? Because they have better things to do with their lives. There's people in the end. They're all sitting on a conference table now. They're like, now they're getting Sure, I'm putting it on the wall. You need to give me five seconds to speak to you, okay? Kay. I need a special friend. It's so much fun, I love it. I'm telling her she's so much fun that I love it. And she's next to me here, uh, over to the right of me here. It's hard to see because of the camera angle, but it'll get better. I think she's texting her friend right now, updating her friend where she is or some shit like that. That's why we're not talking. Okay. It's not going to be a long night with you and me. Oh, yeah? Just letting you know. Just no, like literally. <laughs> now she's like, it's not going to be a long night with you and me. Just letting you know. Remember, your goal once you're on the instant date is to build things up a little bit more and convince them to pull home with you. Okay, I, I moved her within two minutes to this bar. It was like a four minute walk. Okay, but we've been building up flirtation and stuff like that on the way. Now she's putting up some objections, like just so you know, we're not gonna be together all night. Okay, and watch how I deal with this. No, like, seriously, I have to get somewhere and I don't know where I'm trying to go. Are you late there now? What? Are you late there now? Am I late? Thank you. Cheers, man. Congratulations on being a fugitive and graduating. <laughs> How's it feel to be a fugitive? <laughs> Dolly, congratulations on being a fugitive and graduating. How does it feel to be a fugitive? That was so funny when I came up to you, you thought I was like an officer that was gonna be like, yo, you can't. No, I mean, I knew you were hitting on me, oh. but. See, she said when I walk up, when I walk, I said when I walk up to you, you thought that I was 
an officer that was stopping about the turnstile. And she's like, no, I knew you were hitting on me. See, a girl knows when you stop them in public that you're interested in them sexually. You don't need to say, wow, you were just so hot. I just had to speak to you. Wow, you're just so amazing. You're so perfect. You're the best girl ever. Okay, you don't need to talk like that. Okay, you also don't need to tell them why you're not there. Okay, like James Marshall. Hey, I'm not a street performer. I'm not selling anything. I'm not trying to convert you to a religion. They know you're a man that stopped a woman in public. They know you're interested. When you start saying all this nonsense, they're like, wow, this guy's a huge pussy. He's scared to you know, come up and talk to me. He has to either shower me with praise or like tell me he's not gonna try to do anything bad and like all this stuff. They know you can just be normal and act normal and that's what they will like. Well, you're, 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 <laughs> She's asking me if I remember her name and I forgot it again. So I'm trying to tell her to say it out loud again. No, but your eyes are like super fucking. I talk about how I, I DJ electronic music. She's asking if she can find me on Spotify. I have a SoundCloud with my mixes up on that. Sometimes I pass that to the chat. Oh, my DJ name. Um, it was the Hammer of Thor. It was Molnir. Okay, Papa Chris, who's this? Hello. Um, Jeezy. Okay. I love Jeezy. I love Jeezy. What's your favorite song, Rich? Now she's asking if I know who this random picture is. It's the rapper G Easy. Because I feel like you don't actually look too cool, Uh Me, myself, and I. 100 points. Shut up. You're such a dick. Now, okay, this is where she's just like giving me a hard time. She's like, you probably don't know any songs by him. I name a good song by him. She's like, that's the only song you probably know. And then I say, shut up, you're being a dick. But I'm saying it playfully, okay? It's just playing back at them. If they're giving you a bit of shit, you can give them a bit of shit back in a playful way. Why you gotta be a dick? Wait, when do you fly out? Okay, change topic again. When do you fly out? Logistical information. I need to know when she's leaving to know what I'm dealing with. At the end of May. Oh, I thought you were leaving today. No, I told you several times when I'm leaving today. Oh, okay. But I- I thought you were going back to California to your parents' house or something? Yeah. No, that today, I, stop, stop. No, I'm not looking you up and down. Anyway. All right, so now I'm like looking at her body and she's like, stop, haha. -ha. And I'm like, oh, I'm not looking up and down. I just think you're hot. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's okay to be direct like that. Like she knows I'm interested. Where is, it? Where is this one? Do you want me to tell you a story about this watch, actually? Yeah. So this past summer, I bought it in Nordstrom's. And then I... Now she's telling me a story about a watch. So you know, like... Uh, Nordstrom rack? The, the, the no, the real Nordstrom. <laughs> And she, uh, she's telling me the story about the watch and about Palo Alto and fucking Los Altos and all this shit from where she's from. She's like, I can see that you <laughs> you're still checking me out. I'm like, no, I like your eyes. Okay, there's this flirtatious thing going on. It's not just a fact exchange. This is where lots of guys fuck up on dates. Okay, you have to sexualize. You have to be flirtatious. You have to make things non-platonic. And guys are like, what does that mean? What is, what is flirting? You know, a friendly conversation is where you're just trading information. A non-platonic interaction is where you're making sexual innuendos, you're being physical, you're making sexual jokes, okay, you're, you're giving them sexual looks, etc, etc. Um, I went to this party, like, which I was not invited to at all, but it was this, like, mansion. Are you like a badass? I'm a 
would like to thank Like, you jumped to turn us out, you go into parties uninvited. Oh, so it's my reputation, and I jumped to turn us out. Well, that was so, like, I've never, okay, I don't even usually talk to girls every day. Right, I bet. No, I really don't. But I saw your eyes all fucking bright and shit. And I really, like, I'm, like, a big fan of, like, really bright eyes, like, nice eyes. And so I was just like, hey, and then you were like, ah, and I was like, damn, are you on the run? And you're like, actually, I am. Yes. <laughs> it's only like a dollar fifty or something, right? Well, it's, no, it's like I said, I have the money. Like I really could have paid, but you're like, I do have a dollar fifty. It's two fifty actually. So um, do I have that extra dollar? I don't know, but no, I do. The thing is, like, I really was gonna pay, and what my plan was before you caught me off guard was I was gonna. Go what were you doing? You were like looking at your phone or something. Right? I know. I was. She's telling the story, if you can't understand, um, she's saying how it's like 250 to get the turnstile and it wasn't working and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just reiterating how I stopped her because I really liked her eyes because her eyes are so blue. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go next because I have to go somewhere. And Wait, are you on like a drug tour or something? Like yeah. a pub drug crawl? Oh, but my friend is picking me up and she's and I How, how soon? I don't know. She's not responding to me. All right, so now she's like, my friend is picking me up. I'm like, how soon? That's going to show me how much time I have to deal with, okay? Because you want to make shit happen. If her friend's picking her up in the near future, then I want to make something happen and try to pull before that happens, okay? So it's important to find that stuff. Not that, like, soon. But she, like, I forgot where she wants me to meet her, so I was trying to figure it out. And my plan was to, like, swipe my card twice. So that, like, I paid for the time that I jumped the turnstile. Oh, so you're like an immoral badass? <laughs> I think I feel like really bad. I'm really. She's like, well, I'm gonna swipe the card a second time to pay for the one that I. I'm scared I'm gonna get caught now. Wait, I don't know you won't. If they didn't catch you then, then you're good. I wanna invite you out before you leave town. What's your number? All right, so now I'm taking her number just in case, like, the friend comes and interrupts or anything like that, or if she has to suddenly leave. I say, I wanna invite you out before you end up leaving town. I'm gonna still try to pull her, but I'm just getting the number along the way. I'm just gonna type in my fake number. Yeah, please. Notice how this girl's sassy like the whole time. Okay, even when she's giving her number, oh, I'm just gonna put in my fake number. Okay, she's just saying that to draw, you know, a bunch of shit. So she's just trying to give it a hard time. A lot of guys will like crumble to this and they'll be like, wait, fake number, what? A I just play it off as a joke. I know it's all just BS. Okay, she's just fucking around. I'm fucking around with her too. It's just this little back and forth. Hey, what are you up to right now? Like I said, I'm not particularly sure. <laughs> I'm asking her more logistics questions because it's still not clear what's going on here. Like, is she meeting her friend? What's up? And she's like, oh, I'm not particularly sure what's going on. Fugitive. <laughs> it's not every day you meet a fugitive on the run. <laughs> what a fucking badass that I am. I'm still teasing her more that she's a fugitive and a badass. You're like, yeah, you know, I do a lot of bad shit, like jump turn stuff. <laughs> Wait, did you have to climb it or something, or how did you get over it? No, I'm really strong. Are you? I feel you must have. You're not strong at all. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she says, oh, I'm really strong about climbing the turnstiles. Let me feel your muscle. You're not strong at all. <laughs> but I say it joking. <laughs> so what did I did. Out? Nope. What I did. That's so stop. Yeah. Like, stop. So anyway, I picked myself up and I just jumped over it. I don't think at all. While all the Mexican construction workers were coming out <laughs> and we're like, Whoo! Oh, they saw you I was like, what's up, you guys? Anybody want to pay for me? No? Okay, good. All right. Anybody want to what? I was going to say, anybody want to pay for me to get through? No? Pay for in a half hour? No. <laughs> She's just saying that a bunch of construction workers were coming through and she was making a joke. Do any of you guys want to pay for me to get through? Okay. 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 Are those your eyelashes? I'll tell you right now. Maybe eyelashes, yes. Yeah. They're pretty long. It's mascara. Wait, okay. I know you don't know me, blah, 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 blah. Then I make a comment about her eyelashes being long. But tell, I'm just like very curious, like what is like the backstory of why you've been drinking? Oh. I'm asking for the backstory of why she's been drinking. Why what? Why you've been drinking? I can't tell you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Is it kind of a hint? You can try to guess, and if you guess it, I'll say yes. Well, it sounds shady if you can't tell it me. It is shady. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't like. 
like a friend activity or like a social gathering, obviously, if it's shady. I don't know, I can't think of reasons why, shady reasons why you would drink. Alright, then I won't tell you. Wait, were you just getting off work or something? Nope. That's gonna be a shit. Uh, were you with friends? No. Clients? I guess. <laughs> oh yeah? I don't know. I'm getting closer? That's a better word than friends. Clients? Oh, you're a drug dealer or something? Now I'm saying, okay, were you with friends? She's like, no. I was like, were you with clients? She's like, that's closer. So now it's like, okay, what the fuck? Then I guess, is she a drug dealer? <laughs> she says, I wish I was in my the ripped jeans and shit. I wish I was. Are you fully Russian? Russians are fucking crazy. I dated like two or three Russian girls, and they're always like super strong personality, like really independent, and strong women. And they always do like shitloads of drugs and drink and shit. My brother, he's a drug dealer. He just bought himself a license. <laughs> She's like, my brother's a drug dealer. He just bought himself a new Lexus. And I'm like, all right, you piece of shit. Okay, you going to school. So are you gonna like? Yeah. What are you doing right now? After this? Like I said, trying to meet my friend who's obviously not. Nice. Do you have drinks at your house? What? Do you have drinks at your place? Yep, you're not invited. Okay, so now she says she's waiting for her friend, but her friend's not responding. I say, do you have drinks at your place? She says, yes, but you're not invited. Okay, more standard token. I like the attitude, though. Like I said, I'm only here for one drink, and then I gotta go. Yeah. So. <laughs> She's like, I can only stay for one drink, then I gotta go. Okay, but I end up pulling this girl, so watch and see how I do. All right, let's go. You, man. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.